Today we're talking about the Harrison Mixbus DAW. So in this video, you're gonna learn how to purchase it, download it, install it, and launch it. And I will also give you guys a few bonus tips to get started. So that's all coming after this introduction. Welcome everybody, I'm Dan Spencer and I am the Audio Sorcerer. So this is the channel where I teach you how to perfect your audio recording, mixing, and mastering skills. So before we get to the video, make sure you guys smash that like button. Please subscribe and hit that notification bell to know when I have new videos coming out. So with that being said, today we are talking about how to install the Harrison Mixbus DAW. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go to harrisonconsoles.com and I have a link in the description for that. And it will take you to this page here. This is the full Harrison website. Now you might see Mixbus on the front page right here but if you don't, you can go up to music products here and you'll see you have the Mixbus workstation right here. So we're gonna scroll down. And you're gonna see you have two different versions, the Mixbus version, which is the regular one, and then the Mixbus 32C. So this installation tutorial is for the regular Mixbus and it's currently on sale for $19 and this is Black Friday 2020. So if you guys are watching it well after this date, it may be more money now. So simply, we are gonna to go to the Buy Now button here, and it's gonna launch a fast spring checkout. And I'm gonna put in all my information here and then simply hit the Pay button. So we'll be right back after I do that. All right, so after you make your purchase, this pop-up is going to appear. And the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is download the license key here. So I'm gonna click on Download Now. And you can save this wherever you wanna save it. Put it on my desktop for now. And it also shows up right here. I have it uh, grayed out so you can't see my license key. And then after that's taken care of, you're gonna to want to do download now for the Mixbus software installer. So let me click on that. And then you need to choose your version. So this is made for Linux, Windows, or Mac OS. I have a Windows computer, so I'm gonna click on that. And then I'm going to save this in my downloads. Cool. So while that's downloading, I will hit the continue button. And then you're pretty much done with the page here. So after this is done downloading, we'll be right back. All right, so here we are in the downloads folder in my computer, and here is the Mixbus installer software. So simply double click on it, and it will launch the install. So here for your license agreement, if you wanna read it, feel free to. Otherwise hit I agree. And then when you get here, I recommend just leaving this all on the default here and then hit next. And then you'll need to decide where you want to install the software at. And usually the default is fine, so I recommend just leaving it there. And then hit the install button. And it's gonna do its thing now. So we'll come back after it's done. All right, so it's done now. So we're gonna hit the finish button. All right, now that we have installed the software, the next step is to launch it and license it. So if you go down to your search bar down here and type in Mixbus, you're gonna see the Mixbus 6 app appears. Click on that. So you're gonna to need to paste your license in here. So if you open up your license key text file you downloaded, you can copy and paste from there. Or if you um, copied it from that one pop-up page, you can also paste it in here by doing that if you happen to have copied it. So I'm gonna do this here. I've already copied it. I'm gonna paste it. And I'm gonna hit apply the license. Once your license is applied, you're gonna see this little pop-up up here that says installed license file to, and then it's gonna show you this information here. Then you're gonna hit okay. And then you're gonna see this little pop-up up here. And it gives you a little bit of information about it here. It actually allows you to scale your GUI and font so if you want to do that, you can. I'm gonna leave mine at 100%. I'm gonna hit forward. So here you're gonna to wanna to select the default folder for your new sessions. And if you guys have multiple hard drives, you're gonna to wanna to save these sessions on your secondary hard drive. So I'm gonna go down here and I'm going to select a folder I created on my secondary hard drive. I called it uh, Harrison Mixbus Projects. And then I'm going to hit open. Okay, so you see Harrison Mixbus Projects is now in here. Then we are going to hit forward. So here you're gonna to wanna to select your monitoring option and we have two different options. So the first one here is to use an external mixer 
or the hardware mixer of your audio interface. And then the second option is to use Mixbus to play back material as it is being recorded. So my recommendation is to use Mixbus. Now, if you guys are used to using um, your audio interfaces hardware mixer for this, or if you have an external mixer, then you already know how to do all that and you might as well select that option. But for anybody that is you know, used to doing it within your DAW, or if you're a beginner, definitely choose the default one here. So we're gonna hit forward now. Okay, so this is our monitor section. So this gives you an option to use the master bus directly for monitoring, or you can use an additional monitor bus. So just to leave this on the default here, use a master bus directly. Okay, hit forward. All right, so it says mix bus is ready for use. So let's hit apply. All right, so here you have the option to create a new session or to open an existing session. So we're going to create a new session by clicking on the new session button here. We are going to create a empty template. So click on that. And down at the bottom, we need to give our session a name. So I'm just gonna call it test. After that is all set up, hit the open button. So this is gonna launch your audio MIDI setup. And this is where we're gonna set up our audio interface. So for driver, I'm assuming 99.9% .9 of you will be using ASIO. So click on this here, change it to ASIO. And then you're gonna to wanna to select your input and output device, which is going to be your audio interface. So I have a focus right, so it would already default it to that. So if you're a beginner and you don't have a super powerful computer, do 44.1. Um, even if you do, you can still do 44.1. There's a, always a debate over what sampling rate to record at. I tell people if they're recording music, do it at 44.1. If you are making audio for a video, or if you're making like a YouTube video, uh, you're gonna wanna do this at 48, which is right here. So since I'm doing a YouTube video right now, I'm actually gonna do this at 48. And then your buffer size, this has to do with the latency when you're actually recording. So since we're not gonna be actually recording now, I'm gonna leave this up high for now at 1024. That's typically a buffer size you would use when you're actually mixing a song. And pretty much the rest of it, I would leave as is. So what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna want to hit the start button. And this is gonna launch your Mixbus DAW. All right, so those are all the steps it takes to purchase, download, install, and launch your new Harrison Mixbus DAW. However, I don't wanna leave you guys completely hanging because you probably want to actually use the DAW now. So let me give you guys a few quick tips to get started. So first, you guys probably wanna know how to create tracks. So if you go where my mouse cursor is at right now and you right click, this will launch your add track window. So if I wanted to add a audio track, I would simply click on audio track right here. I would choose how many I want to add. I would give it a name, we'll just call it audio one. I would choose whether I want to be mono or stereo and I can even add it to a group at this point. So. After this is all set up, I will hit add and close. And there's my new audio track. And if I wanna create a MIDI track, I can do the same thing here. And then I will hit add and close. And now I got a new MIDI track. So another cool thing too, is this DAW has a very large zoom in and out horizontal feature at the bottom. So if you grab this little tab where my mouse is right here, I can zoom in and out like that. So that's kind of cool. It's very noticeable compared to other DAWs. And then up here, you'll see this button that says Smart. This will enable your Smart Tool. This is pretty much why I leave Pro Tools on all the time. So I would recommend leaving this on. And then lastly, this is obviously your edit window right here. This is where you'll see all your waveforms and MIDI data when you record them. But if you want to see the mixer, if you do Alt-M on your uh, computer, and it should be Option-M on a Mac, that will launch your mix window here. And this is, you know, the coolest feature of Mixbus because this is like your Harrison console here. So this is the part that makes it unique compared to some of the other DAWs out there. So that was just a few tips to get you guys started. So I hope you guys liked this video. I hope you guys found it useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe because I'll be making this content for you and hit that notification bell to know I have new videos coming out. So with that being said, until the next video, I'll see you guys later and peace out.